music uh, plays such a, an important role. I would I would say it's almost a, a character uh, in his films, and, and uh, incredible to see how he is is one of those directors who seems to have every frame of the film in his head, but also musically in his head. I mean, he literally you have to quite often rehearse with the music track that he's going to eventually put in the film so that you rhythmically are doing exactly what he wants to have happen both in terms of on camera but then in cuts because he knows exactly what's going to happen musically so sometimes he'll he'll give you a, a cassette of okay so this is the music that's playing in this scene so I just want you to have that rhythm in your head so it's a very um, uh, inspiring and unique way of working Well, Baby Driver is, is about a group of, uh, of criminals who rob banks, um, and, uh, and the way in which it's done uh, is that it's, it's all syncopated in the rhythm of the music that the Baby Driver, uh, Ansel Elgort, is playing uh, in his ears because he has tinnitus from an earlier accident in his life. Um, and so he uses that to drown out this, this ringing in his ears. And so all of the bank robberies and much of the, the film is, is literally driven by the music. Um, and so, as I say, the, the choreography is kind of remarkable how Edgar and his team uh, have managed to make that work, not only in terms of what the human characters do, but also how that car is so syncopated to the, to the music that's playing. Well, Baby, I think, is a really sympathetic character and a character that an audience is going to really um, understand and care for. He comes from a, a pretty difficult past. He's got this um, tinnitus, which he seemingly goes through life um, kind of throwing it off his back. He, he never really seems uh, daunted by it, but he does have some difficulties, and he also supports his um, foster um, father who happens to be deaf, um, and that's a really beautiful relationship. I think he's one of the finer young actors uh, who is emerging uh, in such a really significant way. And I, th I think this is a, a wonderful part for him because it's, it's, a, it's a, the, the demands of this role are as he doesn't have an enormous amount of dialogue. You know, it, it, is, it is a role that's built in, in many ways through music and observation and silence. Um, and, and, but when he does talk, um, there's one very funny sequence where he's accused of not being able to hear the instructions that I'm giving to the whole team because he's got his headphones in always. Uh, and then he repeats exactly what I say word for word and it's a, it's a kind of brilliant uh, sequence. what this movie sort of when I watched it it was like oh it's like this big action car chase and yet it also has this kind of really affecting personal story and it's and it's so it's satisfying in the sort of oh we went on a big ride you know at, a, at an amusement park but it's also um, satisfying emotionally so it's it's kind of uh, uh, unusual uh, for a film of, of this genre to I think manage to achieve all of that Baby Driver is about uh, a young getaway driver who suffers from tinnitus, a ringing in his ears. And uh, he plays music to drown out the ringing, and the entire movie moves to the sound of his soundtrack, the beat of his soundtrack. Uh, the car chases, the scenes, it all moves um, through his ears, and the audience sees the story through his eyes. Deborah has no clue that Baby is a criminal or is a getaway driver, and Baby doesn't want her to know. I think he wants to get away from that. Um, she knows there's something going on, but she doesn't pry, and there's something really sweet about that, too. Uh, 
Deborah's like the light at the end of the tunnel that baby sees and he realizes that he doesn't need to be in crime, that he can get out of it and he doesn't want to hurt her. Um, but he would love to get away with her and run away. And um, now he saved up a little money for Joe so he could put Joe in a nice retirement home and then go drive off with Deborah into the sunset. So the whole movie was actually written around the soundtrack that Edgar Wright put together. Uh, the soundtrack was chosen first. And as a result, uh, the music plays a large role in how the story's told, especially rhythmically. Uh, so on set, we would always be listening to the music as we were filming. And a lot of the, the scenes are choreographed to the music. I think, you know, if you're in a scene and you're breathing and you're there and you're taking it all in, and you should be as expressive as you need to be, as long as you're real. Uh, baby's not always very expressive, but there's little looks and you can tell what he's thinking. I wanted the audience to, to know, you know, to be able to feel things through baby. You know, there are times when we're in this like group of criminals and ruthless criminals and and then you have this guy who's this innocent kid, baby, who's in the mix of it all. And it makes it feel like he's one of us. And I think the audience can really relate to him. He doesn't always need to say things. Jamie Foxx, Kevin Spacey, incredible group of guys. John Hamm, we had Flea from the Chili Peppers. Uh, and then, I mean, it's a dream come true as like a young actor, you want to work with these kind of guys. That's who you want to work with. And so it's, it was a pretty incredible experience for me.